Howdy, Decker. Oh, Bob. Uh, did you uh, collect the uh, royalties? Did I? <laughs> Where do you see this stuff? to be about $3,000 worth of gold dust. $3,400 to be exact. Well, I'm certainly glad we leased that northern strip of ours to those miners. You sure had a lucky hunch. They tell me they struck a vein that's getting richer and richer. My boy, looks to me as if we were going to be rich in about a year or so. That won't make me mad. <laughs> oh, no, more, no, 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 me either. <laughs> Lots of money. My niece, Alice, here to keep house for us. Looks to me as if we were going to sit down and take it easy. What time does she get in? Oh, in a little uh, about three hours. That'll give me time to ride up to the west pasture and get back in time for both of us to meet us. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Texas. Yeah. No celebrating. No, 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 not a drop. No, no. <laughs> you better take care of this. So long. So long.
You're playing in tough luck. Too bad. Gentlemen, luck was changed sometime. Just as the, the worm will turn that flat. That is a new deck. I want to deal our friend here a good hand for a change. Right away. I've got in this world. Just how much have you got in this world? Half of everything Bob and I own. 
French and our interest in the school. That's plain. I'll put up everything I own, including this tavern. I'm taking that against your bet. I hate to take advantage of a friend, Mr. Ace. Don't worry. Win or lose, we'll always be friends. Ah. Then the bet is on. Get us pen and ink and paper. He's come to the right place. I told you a hundred times, Ace Brady's game is crooked. Now I'll prove it to you. Meanwhile, giving these gents the best chance they ever had to commit suicide. Royal flush. Would that have beat your queen high straight? Pretty plain you've been giving him liquor so you could run a cold deck on him. Well, I'll just confiscate the stakes. I'm giving you a fair warning. The next time I catch you trimming him, you're moving out of this section and moving fast. That goes for both of you, Tin Horn. Let him tell her, Fox. We don't want any trouble in here. Come on, Texas. You've got to get sober so you can meet your niece. Oh, I'll be as sober as a judge when she arrives. You bet you will. Yes, sir. Got a lot of gold dust hidden somewhere. You trail. I'm staying here. I've got an idea. I want you to sober up. You have to meet your niece in town. Bob, my boy, and partner. I'll be all right. I do wish you would leave me alone. Leave you alone? I'm going to get you sober and you're going to stand for it. Oh, uh, Mr. 
Miss Malden, just a few more words before we get to the ranch. Now, as I was saying, I don't object to your uncle drinking. It's that partner of his, Bob Barton, that's the bad influence. In what way do you mean, Mr. Brady? Well, he keeps your uncle in liquor, just so he can run the works himself and do as he pleases. Oh, not that I would call him a cheater, exactly. But I wouldn't trust him any further than I can throw an elephant. Oh, that's bad. They say he killed three men up north and had to skip out. Not that I'm afraid of him, but he sure has a quick tricker reputation. Oh, he must be a terrible person. Yeah, he's all that and then some. Oh, uh, I'd rather you wouldn't mention that I'd said anything about it. I won't tell him. That sounds like a thing from the ranch. What happened here, Barton? I was out at the barn. I heard a shot and ran in here and found Texas. The fellow did it, got away with our gold dust. Can you prove that yarn? What are you driving at? Still hot. Just fired. I got a shot at the killer as he was getting away. Put up your hands and do your talking to the sheriff. Listen, this. He's not giving me a chance. Let me tell you what really happened. Let you lie out of it, you mean. After what I've heard about you, I wouldn't believe anything you had to say. Miss Malden, I hate to leave you here alone, but I've got to take him into the sheriff. Will you be all right till I get back? Thank you, Mr. Ace. I'll be all right.
Hey, can't you loosen this rope a bit? What's the matter, too tight? Cutting plumb through my wrist. The sooner we get to town, the quicker you'll get rid of that rope. I figure this is all the partnership thing. You know that someday I'll catch up with a party that plugs you. And you don't have to worry about your niece. I'll take care of her, too. Oh, howdy, Sheriff. Howdy. Been looking for you. Any more news about Bob Barton? He's still in the county, but he's right hard to catch. What are you offering? We're not offering much. Funds are low. Well, we'll take care of that. Yeah. There's a thousand dollars. I'm not forgetting that Bob Barton killed my friend. Now you can get those reward notices out. A thousand dollars reward, alive or dead. Yeah. See, Miss Morgan, we're doing all in our power to help you. The sheriff told me who put up the money for the reward, Mr. Davis. I'm very grateful. That's a mighty big reward. 
All the men in the country who own a gun will be out trying to help you get justice. You folks have been so very kind. Your uncle's friends are your friends, too. Isn't that so? Oh, yes. And if there's anything at all that I can do to help you, uh, if you'd like to come in town and stay with me, dearie, I'm sure Thank you, but I'm leaving as soon as I settle my uncle's affairs. Uh, I'm taking charge of everything from this moment. Um, well, don't you think we'd better start back now? Yes, I think so. Oh, you're very kind. Both of you. Not at all. If you should hear anything, you'll be sure to let me know, won't you? I certainly will. Well, Joe, how goes? Oh, Miss Malden, these are some of my boys. I've had them deputized to help us bring in Bob Barton. How do you do, boys? Howdy, Miss. The boys better scatter out and keep a sharp lookout. You bet we will. We have other boys stationed at the pass to prevent them from reaching the railroad. Do you see, Miss Malden? You can't get out of the country without... Oh, that's fine. Thank you so very much. Not at all. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Golden. over all her interests to me this morning. I get half of everything. Isn't that enough? Oh, I didn't know that. Boy, that's great. Well, uh, what about Fox? He won't be back. Why not? On account of John Law.
I just had to come here, Miss. To warn you against this fellow Ace, who you think is your friend. Texas trusted him, too. And they robbed him. This afternoon, I heard Ace planning to rob you. To swindle you out of your share in the mine. You've got to believe me, Miss. You came here just to warn me against Mr. Ace? Of course. Texas was my partner. You don't seem like a stranger to me, Miss Ellen. When I first met Texas in the range, he was always talking about you. I feel like I've known you for years. Perhaps I was a little hasty when I believed everything Mr. Ace told me. You believe me now, don't you? Yes, I do. I'll bet you're hungry after hiding out so long. Let me get you something to eat. I don't want to put you in any trouble. Oh, it's but... no trouble. Just take a minute. Like he outsmarted it. You better get back to the cabin. Stay where you are. That was a mighty pretty speech of yours, Mr. Barton. But you haven't fooled me a bit. I guess the only way I can convince you of my innocence is to capture the killer myself. I've already captured him. Now I'm going to take you to the board. Turn around. Turn around. I mean it. Sounds like it came from the house. I risked my neck to come here and help you. And this is a thanks I get. Well, from now on, you can look out for yourself. Now, if you know what's good for those boys of yours, you won't set them on my trail or I've had a chance to make a getaway. You won't get far. Why did you let him get away? Well, I don't understand. Uh, what made you let on he wasn't here? Because had you come in, he would have had to drop one. Oh. oh, all right. You boys go ahead and get some rest. Well, he won't fool us another time. You bet he won't. I'm leaving here soon. I'm going back home. Good night. Good night.
I would give in. Take them all, don't take my guitar. Take my bit, take my grub away. Take the night and leave them, take the day. Now this may sound so very strange, take my home upon the rain. Take them all, but don't take my guitar. on the act for Texas me. You would have died. And the way Ace took her for that gold mine interest. You mean he got her share of the mine? By power of attorney to manage it and the ranch for her. All signed, sealed, and delivered. That Ace sure is a smart one, all right. You said it. He's going up to the ranch this afternoon to collect his first 50% of this month's mine royalties. Hey, that ought to be about three or four thousand bucks. It ought to be. Where you been? I've been hiding out. I thought they'd be after me till I saw them reward posters plastered all over the county. I'm offering that reward. Oh. You got something else in mind? I thought I'd seen the last of you. Well, you didn't think I'd run out on a good partner, did you? Come on to the back room. I've got something. I can't handle that dust after what happened to Texas. What do we do with it then? I'll tell you what. You take it to Denver and cash it. All right. And uh, don't bother to come back. What do you mean? I'll bring you your share. We're partners, ain't we? No. We're through. We are not. You never would have got hold of Texas interest if it hadn't been for me. So you know all about it, eh? Yeah. And you're cutting me in on it regular. Nothing doing, Fox. You got your share already. You know, I'm doing you a favor not to tell the sheriff how you got it. You're bluffing. If you think I'm bluffing, just call me. What have you got on me? Nothing. What have I got on you? Murder. Well, do you want me to tell the sheriff? Hold it. I reckon you win. Good enough. I'm taking over Texas interest. Well, of course, it's me. And you're taking the next train that's the branch line for Silver Creek. But, Ace, I ain't got a dime in cash. And I can't show this gold up to any place in town. Well, that's all right. I'll advance you to fare to Denver, and you needn't bother to bring it back. Now, how's that for being a friend? 
You wait here. I'll get it out of the cash register. Mr. Bob Barton, I don't know any easier way of making a thousand dollars than by turning you in.
Get off that horse! What's the matter? You know what I want? Double crosser. Hand it over. He's the one who killed Texas. He's on his way to the girl's ranch. You and one of the men get this man to a doctor. We're riding on. Brady's partner. Ace uh, had a little accident, fell off his horse. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he hurt badly? Well, I can't tell yet, miss. Didn't look so good last I saw him. So, Ace sent me to collect the 50% of the mine royalties. But, uh... Oh, of course, I know you don't know me from Adam, Miss Alice. Gave me this agreement to show you. Of course, Ace wouldn't trust me with that if I wasn't his partner. Oh, of course not. Pardon me for having any doubts. Oh, that's all right. Can't be too careful these days, what with all these crooks running around loose. That's right. I'm glad you came early. It'll give me a chance to catch the afternoon train east. Going east? Good. I mean, uh, I'm sorry to lose you so soon. I have to get away from all this trouble. As long as I know my property is in good hands, I can't worry. Oh, uh, we'll do the best we can for you, Miss Alice, me and Ace. Oh, I'm sure you will. I have Ace and Sarah the money in the drawer. I'll get it for you. Quite a tidy sum this time. Sure glad. For you, I mean. Hold it, Father. Uh, what do you want this time? Do you know who this is? Of course. He's Ace Brady's partner. The man who killed your uncle. No pay no sense to miss. Sheriff poppy has been trailing so long, he's plumb crazy. I wouldn't believe him. Come on, Fox. You got a date with the sheriff.
mind him. He wants this fellow Fox. What made you change your mind, Sheriff? We just found Ace down the road. Told us how Fox killed Texas. And Ace didn't die. No, a bullet couldn't touch him. Well, I guess you get the thousand dollars reward. And Ace's money, too. That's poetic justice. That's what I call it. Let me know. Press. Just a little personal argument, Sheriff. It doesn't concern you. going to town. Fox is going to confess to you personally. I don't want to go to town. I heard everything. Well, you heard everything. Well, that's fine. In that case, you can finish packing your bags and I'll take you to the train. But I don't want to go to the train. I've changed my mind. Your mind? What do you think? I can't run out on a partner. <laughs> <laughs> 